Good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? So, welcome to our Cambridge English classes. And for tonight's topic, I've picked articles. Basically, in order to write good articles, you need to know the common adverbs necessary to develop your ideas and to create cohesion and coherence in your writing, alright? So, those adverbs can come in the beginning of the text, in the middle of the phrase, and sometimes at the end. So, let's see all the diverse examples. And the first one is thoughtfully. Again, let's repeat. Thoughtfully, which basically means well-planned. So, example number one. There were some delicious sandwiches thoughtfully provided by his wife. So she carefully planned those. Second example. Thoughtfully, some walked up and down while others just whispered and laughed. Right? So in this case, thoughtfully, again, carefully planned. Comment at verb number two. Foolishly, again, let's repeat, foolishly, which basically means unwisely. So, I can say, he dressed foolishly to entertain the children. <laughs> so, the way he dressed was like a fool. Second example, foolishly, he had decided that because a home was the best investment, two homes were even better. Alright? So, let's move to the third uh, adverb. Incontrovertibly. Again, let's repeat it. Incontrovertibly. Which basically means no questions asked. So, it was incontrovertibly the fiercest trial to which he could have been subjected. So, no questions asked. Second example. As she said it, she knew, incontrovertibly, that she could never do anything but protect people. Right? Now, let's move to the next adverb, which is incautiously. Again, let's repeat it. Incautiously, which basically means imprudently, mistakenly. Right? So, first example. They are strict and awful beings and must not be cautiously approached. So it cannot be imprudent. Okay? Second example. Mrs. Dexter has offered to buy the uniforms, putting Greg in cautiously. Excellent. So let's move to the next one, which is presumably. Let's repeat it, please. Presumably, which basically means Supposedly. So, at least I possess the key of his flat, presumably with his permission. So I guess I had his permission, alright? Another example. Presumably, the Russian troops there had come from Moscow. That's what everybody thinks. So that's why we use presumably. We're not sure. Alright, let's move to the next one. Spontaneously, let's repeat it, spontaneously, which basically means commonly, naturally. So, here all the varieties of his studies come into play, as it were, spontaneously. Second example, I offer the suggestion generously, freely, and spontaneously, commonly, naturally. All right? Let's move to the next one now. This one has hard pronunciation. Startlingly. Let's repeat it. Startlingly. So, which basically means amazingly, remarkably. Alright? So, he had watched a program just last month. And it had been startlingly lifelike. And the second example, they are possibly not startlingly brilliant, and he's perfectly easy to deceive. So in this case, 
remarkably easy to deceive. And last but not least, magnanimously. Again, magnanimously. So basically means adventurously, like the best. So, it was magnanimously divided by him and made a supper for three of us. So he divided it perfectly for the three of us. Second example, they had a noble cause and they beg you to treat it magnanimously. So please, treat it as the best thing ever, all right? So, the topic of the day was article, and I'm really glad you watched this class today. So please, click below and subscribe right now, because I want to see you, and I hope to see you next class. So thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.